Hi my friends! Today's makeup and hairstyle is perfect for any special occasion, so grab your makeup and join in! I'm starting with a primer spray to help my makeup last all night. And then taking a photo-friendly foundation, I'm going to apply a very thin layer of foundation. Two thin layers of foundation are much better than one thick one and it will last longer. Leave that first layer set and let's move on to the eyes. I'm using this beautiful gold eyeliner as a base. Choose whatever color you want, I'm using gold to match my dress. Take a skin tone eyeshadow and use this from the crease right up to the brows. This will give our next eyeshadow something to blend with. Take a black eyeshadow and apply this into the crease. Apply a small amount at a time and keep blending over and back. And then I'm going back in with a skin toned eyeshadow to blend it upwards. This will soften the black eyeshadow and give it a smokier effect. With this beautiful shimmering pearl eyeshadow, I'm going to highlight the inner corner and this will really catch the light and brighten the eyes. To add some warmth to the look, I'm using my bronzer right into the crease above the black. You can finish the look here or you can add eyeliner. I'm going to add some eyeliner for some more drama. If you make a mistake, don't worry, use a wet wipe and sharpen up the line at the edge. I'm going to apply some fake eyelashes, but I want to use them again, so I'm going to apply mascara first to avoid getting mascara on the fake eyelashes. Cover any darkness under the eyes for a clean finish. And to add some more definition, I'm going to apply a black liner right on the lower lash line. I'm going to blend this with a touch of bronzer. I really want that highlighter to stand out, so I'm going to apply a little extra in the inner corner. Eyebrows can be washed out in photographs, so make sure you do define them with brow gel, pencil or eyeshadow, whichever you like. Apply your second layer of foundation, concentrating on any areas you need more coverage. I highly recommend contouring for photographs to add some shape. If you have darker skin tone, focus on highlighting instead. Yesterday told me, it told me, the things never change. I'm using this amazing powder to set the makeup in the T-zone and this will prevent shine and will look much more flattering in photographs. I'm using this beautiful blush with gold shimmer running through it and I'm applying it onto the cheeks and blending it backwards into the contour. I'm keeping the lips neutral to allow the eyes to be the main focus. I'm going to finish with a touch of nude gloss over the top. For the hair, I've curled it overnight, but this also works for straight hair. Put the hair on either side of the ears and clip in front of the face. Grab a small section of hair at the crown of the head. And you can tease this and tie it up in a high ponytail. And simply push upwards and clip into place. With the front two sections, take them and pin them right at the back to hide the ponytail. Time to get your dress on and you are ready to go. But where do they go? All those skies made of blue. 